Hi everyone, welcome in the sixth section of this course. In this section, we're going to talk about currying functions as well as applications of partial functions. But mostly we're going to focus on currying. In this video, we're going to have an overview of what is currying as well as partial functions. But before moving on, let's have a look at function parameters. So uh, basically, a function can have a number of parameters. and Arity refers to the number of parameters in a function. In itself, based on the number of parameters that the function has, it can be of different types. For example, unary with one parameter, binary with two parameters, polyadic, which can have a number of parameters, as well as variadic functions, which have a dynamic number of parameters. Now let's have a look at what is a partial function. Partial function in itself is a function that is made of other functions but with a smaller number of parameters. And the process is called partial function application, which in itself produces functions of an arbitrary number of parameters, which in itself is smaller than the actual function. On the other hand, currying is a process where we convert a function with a lot of parameters with just a single parameter. So, a function that has a lot of parameters is converted into a sequence and a number of other functions that have just one parameter. It has some pros and cons, for example, currying has the advantage that a lot of functions are easier, nicer to use than just one function with a lot of parameters. We can easily reuse every function differently, as well as we can build more sophisticated functions by combining multiple functions with just one parameter. On the other hand, it has the disadvantage that may bring side effects if the developer is not used to currying. So that's why in this video we're going to have a look at currying as well as uh, some examples. So. As we can see and uh, as we explained a little bit before, both partial functions and the currying is related to the number of parameters that the function has. So a partial function can have several parameters. On the other hand, when we use currying, a function can have just one or zero parameters. So in itself, currying can be considered a type of partial function application, at least in Go, but in other programming languages, for example in JavaScript, there are some more differences other than that.